Alrighty, Brian, in the meantime, into more headlines tonight. And new at 10, voters in Hannibal will decide on a sales tax increase in August after City Council approved the ballot issue tonight. Fourth Ward City Councilman Alan Bowen says the sales tax increase would be for infrastructure in town, repairing things like storm drains that he says could cost millions to fix. Now, Bowen says the goal of the sales tax is to capitalize on tourism and the city's status as a regional shopping center and take the burden off of residents. Streets need to be repaved, you know, coming up. We just did a massive project for the streets, but eventually those streets need to be repaved. Um, the city just doesn't have those funds, and so this is the best idea to allow outside citizens to help pay. Bowen says over the past few years, the city has tried to work to cover many of the issues they face through grants and loans, but the, he says it's only a Band-Aid. If passed, the tax would be raised by 0.05%, bringing the sales tax to just under 9%. So also at the meeting, City Council denied the Mark Twain Museum's usage of UTVs on city streets for summer maintenance. Parks and Rec officials say they will stop using them as well, but City Council members say they will discuss this further. Meanwhile, engineering on the Union Street stormwater drain project is approved for just under $100,000. And then multiple summer events, including the Steampunk Festival, got approval for usage of public properties and street closures.